little T-Rex arms. Be the biggest ick. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Alora, and I make motherhood and lifestyle content. Be sure to subscribe down below if you have not done that yet. We are going to run some errands today. I printed off some photos at Walmart that I need to go pick up and then I need to grab a few things for... Oh, really? And then I need to go grab a few things for the nursery. I need to get some like little skinny nails that I can nail into the wall because I'm going to be hanging up some baskets. Today's going to be a really good day. It is beautiful outside. When the sun is shining, you know it's going to be a good day. You want up? Can you say up? Good job. Should we get a snack? Yeah, we'll get a snack. All right, we're gonna go grab this little dude a snack and get started with our day, huh? What's that? We have story time today and I was kind of debating if I wanted to even go um, since we have to run some errands but I think I'll go because it's only 30 minutes it's not that long and then afterwards go run the errands I need to and then come home and eat lunch so I think we're gonna do that um, plus I just think it's good for Caspian to be in a group setting with other kids he does not do well with other children just in general <laughs> he's definitely a dog person and like he likes animals. He'd rather hang out with animals all day. And which is fine. I, I just, but I do want him to get more used to people. He's just not a huge people person, which I feel like that sometimes. Sometimes I just don't want to be around a big crowd, but getting him accustomed to kids is something that I find important. I want him to, he's going to be going to public school down the road. So yeah, that's that. So we got to pack some snacks for when we actually run errands. We gotta get our shoes on. Ready to get, you wanna go bye bye? Um, and then, oh, thank you, sweetie. Uh, so yeah, we gotta go grab our shoes, get our coats on, and then we're gonna go to story time. Are you ready to go read some books at story time and play with some toys? So our local library does a great job with story time. So they read, they typically read like three really short stories because this is for young, young kids. And so the attention span is very short. And then they have a time where they all can go play and there's like different stations of things. There's a sensory bin station, a water play station, instrument station, just all kinds of different things. And then after the play time, they usually do songs. And Caspian just watches other kids during that time. Yeah, he's very observant. And so he just watches the craziness of other children as they dance to these songs. And he's completely entertained by it. He usually doesn't dance himself um, because he's so just intrigued by what the other kids are doing. And some of the kids really get into it. It's really funny. And then that's it. They grab a sticker and they go home. And it's really simple. I think they've structured it really well. Um, and it's also a great time for me to meet other moms in my community and get myself out there a little bit, which is something I'm horrible at. I actually am more, I'm kind of antisocial just slightly, just ever so slightly. Story time is now over. I drove uptown real quick. I'm about to get cash out of the ATM. My husband and I are doing a sinking fund every month for our vacation this summer that we're going on with my side of the family. And if you don't know what a sinking fund is, it's essentially a set amount of money that you set aside every month that you will then one day spend on something. So in our case, it's a vacation. So we are getting a set amount of money out every month that we're setting aside and then we're going to use that once we go on vacation. Is 
anyone else as short as me that they have to unbuckle to reach the ATM? Because that is me. It doesn't matter how close I park, I cannot reach it. My arms are just like little T-Rex arms. nice outside my coat was like overheating me it is just beautiful outside I am loving this weather just gets me so so excited I love spring um I got what I needed I got nails I had no idea what I was looking for I was just trying to look for a nail that would damage the wall the least so I found some skinnier ones that's perfect for what I need and then I picked up my photos this camera a nasty nasty stomach bug ripped through the townsend house and it, yeah it was awful it was it was so bad i am so glad we're over it but we are on the mend now we are doing good kyle went back to work today um i feel like i'm just now getting my appetite back so that's good so yeah so glad we are done and over with that stomach bug but that also means i have this itch to just disinfect my entire house i just got caspian his snack he's now asking for a show so i'll let him watch probably two episodes of bluey while he eats his snack and we're gonna get some things done recent change that we did was bring up this little booster seat from the basement for Caspian so he's gonna start sitting here been using this for about a week now and he seems to have adjusted really well so I feel confident to put the high chair down in the basement for the time being pregnancy related or not but I do think it is I have been having the the biggest ick for hot coffee it just it's not something I look forward to for weeks now I have not been able to like even finish a cup of it so I'm going to try iced coffee which years ago when I first got married that is all I drink was iced coffee I would we bought a coffee pot for Kyle and then I had my cold brew maker and that is 
how we did our coffee every morning. I did cold, he did hot. And then over time, I just eventually switched to hot coffee because it was just more convenient. And I think I'm, I, I think I'm going to pull out my cold brew maker and make myself some cold brew. Obviously, it takes some time to brew, so I won't get it right away. But um, I also have to make ice now. Um, we d we have an ice machine on our refrigerator, but there is no water hookup, so. It is kind of useless. So we just use ice trays, which we aren't huge ice people. We don't put ice in our drinks or anything like that. But I do like ice in my iced coffee. So I do need to make myself some ice. recipe I will link the recipe that I use down below it's my go-to recipe now because it's so good Caspian was honestly not a huge fan of this last night and I think because of all of the like veggies that I put in it so I think I might just separate the noodles and hope he eats it and I'll serve it with some blueberries on the side I think as well do he has been in such a picky phase lately, um, actually for a while now. It's honestly, it's gotten better, but he's still very, very picky. Here is his toddler plate. It, it lacks protein, so I might put a cheese stick on there. I don't even know if he'll eat it. He's just been so incredibly picky. Ugh. It's, it's very frustrating, if I'm being totally honest. It is so frustrating. Caspian is down for his nap, and this was lunch today, which is a win. I'm very happy with what he ate. I'm gonna take care of lunch real quick, and then I need to mop these floors. They are disgusting. I couldn't tell you the last time I mopped, okay? Just being totally honest. Cannot tell you they need mopped, so we're gonna do that while he's napping. done with my Bible reading yet but I did get hungry midway through which is no surprise <laughs> um, but a really good snack which I feel like I've mentioned this like breakfast slash snack before but it's um, it is the oat and flax oatmeal from Aldi and then I just top with peanut butter and a drizzle of honey and it is so good. I'm going to eat my snack and finish my Bible reading and I'll pick you guys up later. I 
think I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe down below and I'll see you guys next week. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.